Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at how we set up our Google Sites and basically just get started with our final uh, project and our final exam. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to Google Sites because that's where we're going to be creating our um, website. So you want to type in sites.google.com and hit enter or you can come up to the little um, squares up here and you can come down and click sites. It'll take you to the same page. Now, when you get here, you're going to notice that down at the bottom, it says new Google sites. We want to use these sites. They are much better. So click on new Google sites and it's going to pop you up. You're going to see this big purple bar at the top. That's how you know you're in the right place. Now, you're not going to be seeing all the things that I have here because um, these are the pages and the things that I have done with my students in class. Um, so we're going to start fresh. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a new site. So down here at the bottom right, I want to click on the big um, plus red circle. And you want to name your site your name. Um, if you know that somebody else in the school has your same name, um, you might want to make sure that you know you put something in there that you know specifies that it's you, like a nickname, or you know come up with something else. Um, but hopefully, no one has the same first and last name. But up here at the top left, I'm going to type in Ashley Wright because it's my site, and where it says your page title, I'm going to type in Computer Applications E. Oops the portfolio. All right, so that's how I can get started. You'll automatically notice that it names my site, uh, my name, since I put that in there. Um, and then you'll notice that when I click on my title here, you know, I've got some different options here where I can change the way that this looks. Okay, um, I can link it, um, but that's pretty much it. There's not a lot of options here. There are some sizing handles over here um, where you can actually pull that out so that it's fitting on two lines. And then down at the bottom here, you know, it says change image. You could go and you could say select image and you could choose something that you like and it'll put it back there behind that. Um, you can go to header type and you can choose to just have the title to have a large banner or to have a normal banner. So that will just kind of change the way that it looks. Um, and basically that'll just kind of get you set up there in the beginning. Um, now after that, we're really just going on to add everything to our page and I'm gonna be doing that in other tutorials. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop there because this is just the creation of the web page. Um, so now what I wanna do, if I wanna go back, I can click on um, this site home up here at the top left that'll take me back here to this main page where I see all my pages and if I want to go back and edit it um, I can just click on it it will open it up or uh, if you notice when I clicked on those three little dots uh, you can rename it you can remove it or you can open it in a new tab so the open in the new tab works as well um, just make sure that right here it says you know owned by anyone you want to make sure that it says owned by me um, so that way you're just seeing the ones that are owned by you um, I have a couple of other that students have shared it with me so um, hopefully you're only seeing yours and after that, you should not have to do any settings. Everything is set up for you. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to go in, I'm going to talk about themes. Um, and within the videos, I'm going to just keep going and, and we're going to get this page all set up for you. All right, so that's it. Um, hopefully you successfully created your site. Super easy. And I'll see you in the next video.